it's put a major toll on these communities having to, to breathe this for so long. And in addition to the smell, it actually affects their hearts, their lungs, their mental state, because they can't sleep at night. In talking to the community, we, we found out that a lot of the smell was coming from the river, but one particular spot at the river, um, and we now call it the hot spot. When you go to that location, what you see is there's water being forced through pipes, and there's tremendous turbulence. You see foam, you see bubbles, and that's where the gases are coming out. The findings from this study have basically taken what we've known as a, as a long-standing water quality issue. People going to the beach or people going near the river don't go in the water, but we've actually been able to show a connection between poor water quality and poor air quality. We've been able to show incredibly high levels of one particular gas, um, hydrogen sulfide, which is a known toxic gas, 4,500 times higher than typical urban levels that people breathe. And so we've been able to show that this is one of the gases. It's a, it's a great tracer for the impact of sewage. It's the rotten egg smell that you, you get when you're you know, near raw sewage. But in addition to that gas, we're finding hundreds of other gases and we're trying to understand those as well now. So it exposes many more people. So this study has shown for the first time a direct link between poor water quality and really bad air quality. And that, that connection has not been made before. Federal funding was absolutely essential to connect things all the way from our basic fundamental science research that we do, all the way to applying it and doing measurements here in a community and helping a community and understanding the health effects and disparities that are happening. This is a binational problem. The air pollution, the water pollution doesn't stop at the border. And so people on both sides are being impacted by this. So what needs to happen is officials on both sides of the border need to work together to solve this problem to protect people on both sides of the border.